Hello everyone, my name is Silari Chin. Um, thank you for coming and watching our YouTube channel. Please remember to subscribe, comment and like. Today we want to take you through some very simple concepts in Excel. Um, we'll be showing you how to find a value. I'll also show you how to replace values. We'll also show you how to copy and paste in the same sheet and how to copy and paste from one sheet to the other. Let's just jump in. Um, replace or find values are very important because it helps you to easily interact with your data. Let's say you have a thousand of data and you want to find a particular item or a particular data. It helps you to do that very quick. Let's just jump in and see what I mean. Right here we have an amazing data here. Um, we have um, a column here for name of child, age, sex, class, and status. So right here, let's say management come and say, hey, John, Mary, or whoever your name is, or you watching me and say, hey, we are looking for a particular name, or we are looking for a particular name that starts with Clara, okay? And we don't, maybe we don't know yet. All you need to do is to click on this data and then come to home up here, and then go at that top, at that top of, at the top, right um, top corner of your Excel sheet and just click this button and then you see this small um, option says fine you click on it now when you click on it here you see that it comes up with this dialog box okay and we want to find out all names that has Clara on it so all we need to do is to just click just write Clara you see we have written Clara and then we want to go to find all okay and we click find all if we click find all when we click find all you see that all the names that has Clara has appeared here you see we have all of them. So Excel has gone into this data and then captures every name that has Clara on it. Okay, and here um, it's amazing because if you're working with a million of data or thousand of data, it does the same. So let's say here now we want to start looking at those Clara or the names. If we come to Clara Ashley here, we click. You see, it already brings us to Clara Ashley. You see, this is Clara Ashley here. If we come to Ngubela Clara and we click, it brings us to Ngubela Clara here. You see? So just by clicking from here, it brings you to that Clara. So Clara Samaria, we click, it brings us to Clara Samaria, you see? So we are already getting the result. Kinley Clara, we click, you see, it brings us to Kinley Clara. Um, Tem Clara, we click, it brings us to Tem Clara. Um, Ecole Clara, we click, it brings us to Ecole Clara, you see? So Excel is doing that work for you. Abba Clara, we click, it brings us to Abba Clara, you see? So this is the power of Excel when it comes to interacting and analyzing data. I can still come here again, and I want to find here again. And I say, okay, and I click here, and I come here, and I click this, and I click find again. And I say, I want to find every age. Remember, these are ages we are dealing with here. Every age or every name that has the age of eight, and I click. And I click find all. You see, it comes here again and it gives me all the ages that has it. You see here. So from this value, it captures. So each time I click this it, it brings me to that particular name that has that it, that has this particular it. It brings to Fang Joy. I click the next it, it takes me to Na Chris. Now, Chris, you see, that's it. I click the next it, it brings me to Sam's Favor up here. That's the next it. And I continue my search. And I click the next eight again, it brings me to Achucha Nelson. I click the next eight, it brings me to Joy. You see, so um, every these eights that we see here have been captured from a partic from particular names. Okay, so each time you click on that figure, it takes you to the name that belongs to that or that has that figure. So this is also very important. So in order to to replace, it's simple. Um, you just click under this name of children here, and then you come up here. Instead of selecting final, you select replace, and then you come here. And then let's say we want to replace this name, Joy. Okay, we come and click right, Joy. Make sure you spell it rightly as it is written on your data. Joy, and to want to replace Joy with um, Mary. Okay, Mary. You see, this is Joy. I want to replace it with Mary, and then we come and click here. You see. Excel has completed its search and has made two replacements. So it wants to make two replacements here right now. Okay, so we are going to click OK. So it wants to make two replacements. So you see it has already changed from Joy to Mary right here. Okay, we can still decide to say, okay, we want to change all Marys again to Joy. 
I see now this mirror is going to change to joy. So we put it. So Excel has completed two uh, two replace made two replacement again. Now we click OK. You see it has already changed to joy. If we come again using the same box of replacement and we come here and we click to this edge and then we say okay we want to replace every age uh, that has eight years old with nine years old so we are going to write eight years old with nine years old you see so we want to find eight years and where we find eight years we want to replace it with nine and then we click replace all excel has completed its search and has made nine replacements so we click ok you see so every eight has turned to nine we can still do it the other way around just to confirm just to confirm this we can still do it the other way around just to confirm this we can come here and say okay if you find nine anyway you find nine please give us eight okay and we put replace all and then again it finds 13 replacement and you click okay so you see it has turned back to eight you see now we can see say anywhere you find ten and um, we want to look at how to paste and copy or copy and paste um, right here we'll just start by just select your data okay go up here select the whole of your data like this okay we have selected the whole of this data and then we come up here there's a small icon here that says copy and then you, you click copy we have not copied this data and then we just want to click we want, we want to copy and paste in the same sheet beside this other data and then when you do this um, you are able now to just go here and click paste you see we have paste we have copied from here and paste here okay many times that you're working with data you like to do these changes um randomly you like to just copy paste and you know try to make your data look good and all that stuff so right here also um it's important for us to note if i want to delete all this sheet i just need to make my mouse change it for, like this and then i right click and then i come like this and then i right click again and then i delete all you see i've deleted everything okay i've deleted everything right here we want to also copy from one sheet to another sheet so we are now on this sheet so if i come here now and i select and i select the same data again going down just be patient going down and then right here i i, I press ctrl c ctrl c um these are buttons that you need to really study okay they work uh, they do a lot of magic when it comes to um even programming um, when we um, each time I use uh, SQL, um, it helps me a lot to 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 to, to, to interact with uh, the, the the interface and helps me a lot to 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 analyze data. Okay, copy and paste is very very important. Okay, we have copied from this sheet. We want to copy to paste now to another sheet. Okay, so we go to the other sheet and then just click there and then now you copy Control. We had copied with Control C. Now we want to paste with Control V. You see, we have just copied okay and then also always learn to adjust your data now we want to adjust the data excel has a, a way that data um gets in you know right here the names are not all seen but they are in the cells so we just have to go here remember our um uh, video for excel for beginners we taught you how what it means when mouse changes to this and that and all that so go there and watch and you, you understand why this mouse has changed like this and now we are dragging to get the all the full names and then we also come here and we adjust and then we adjust this is just how you play around your excel when you're working with excel okay when you're working with a lot of data you just have to be smart um, and also pay attention and pay with play along with your data to see how it can fit and give you the right results thank you all so much for watching this is all we had for you for finding data um replacing data copying and pasting okay so thank you very much and god bless you stay blessed